well-rounded, competent glass blower is getting hard to find. I can find tons of people that want to learn glass blowing, but don't really want to do scientific glass blowing. Understandably, it can be not attractive, but you know, clear is beautiful. Working glass, I mean, once it gets you, it's it's really seductive. It's a it's an incredible material. Um, the ranges of heat and plasticity, and um, I guess there's a good margin of macho in it because you can get some. We've got big glass, and it takes big fire, and it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, that's sort of meditative. You really kind of have to yeah, have happen. every detail, like, be fully paying attention. Because if you're having a bad day or something, it'll be apparent. There's no grand statement behind, you know, some of the flasks and distillation apparatus we make. But, I mean, I'm just fascinated by the process and then fascinated by what comes after and what they do with it. And I mean, I think of myself as more of a craftsman. I don't know. Yeah. Like, I like art, but I don't really understand exactly the designation between art and craft. It just sort of keeps changing. So, I mean, I, I kind of like what I'm doing. I'm fascinated by it. Because when you get into something, and you kind of really get it, you want to do all aspects of it. And I really have no desire to do really anything artistic. Um, if I did, it would probably involve forms that we make here. So repairs is the probably 90% of our labor time. Um, and then a lot of it is custom work, um, maintaining shop, inventory, consulting, a lot of consulting time. Somebody comes in, PhD candidate, researcher, they can tell you what they're trying to attempt and what result they want to get, but they have no idea what and glass is the ideal medium for them. They have no idea how, how to go about this. So you get to do a lot of educating about, you know, and you can make suggestions. Okay, you want to take samples off. Well, we're going to put a septic cap over here. You want to, you want to run it back into the still pot and then back up? Well, I got a great blueprint from Germany that beats the heck out of them. Well, you can't even buy it in a catalog, so. It's so occupationally rewarding. I haven't, I've barely, I've barely gone to work in 30 years. Um, I say this a lot. Um, there's been a lot of days where I just, I had to get out of here early, but tomorrow was always, I wanted to be here. <laughs>